Hey guys, it is Pizza Prestige, and today I am bringing you a video, the first of a new series with Planet Coaster, and I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to make more videos of Planet Coaster. Uh, it's it's been amazing. I've played it for a couple of hours now, and it's just I can I can tell you I'm really enjoying this. I'm really really enjoying this compared to what, how I enjoyed Roller Coaster Tycoon World when it came out. Uh, I actually played it for about half an hour or an hour, I think. And then I had to uh, request a refund actually and buy this game instead and I'm really happy I did I think it's one of the best decisions I've made uh, in a quite a while and Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, with this game now Basically, I'm just gonna talk about what I have in mind for this park uh, why I can see me Build a restaurant in the background now basically what I, where I want to go with this park is I kind of want to build sort of a generic park uh, with uh, some simple uh, themes, but mostly just kind of generic and uh, but have a lot of detail and This is something I really like uh, there's this this coaster park basically I call it a coaster park It's not really a theme park uh, But it's kind of a thrill ride park and it's called a Valby world in the Netherlands And it's actually right near uh, where I live. It's about I think uh, 30 minutes with the car. It's pretty close by uh, anyhow that, that park doesn't really have any like big themes going on, but it has these great rides and it has, you know, it has some detail and, you know, I just want to create something that's really realistic and just kind of looks cool and has cool coasters and that kind of stuff. Now, about the coasters, I really like the coaster builder in, uh, in Planet Coaster, but we'll get to that when we build the coaster actually, which is going to be in episode 3, I believe. Uh, but for now, I'll just stick with the scenery because, as you can see right here, we're building a restaurant. And this restaurant area, it looked pretty co uh, good, but then I thought, like, well, there's no kitchen. And, of course, a restaurant needs a kitchen. Uh, so I decided to build this little kind of like a room next to it. Um, sort of, you know, it's meant to be for a kitchen. Now, what I, you know, I haven't really seen this uh, used a lot, uh, but basically, normally... When you get, you know, inside of a structure or a building, uh, you see these beams that go across the, the floor, basically, uh, ab above the ceiling. Well, actually, beneath the ceiling, um, there's these ribs that actually strengthen the floor that's above it. And I tried to do this, uh, that with these, um, these roof trims, I suppose. And it worked out pretty nice. I think I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I don't like is that they kind of glitch um, through the walls, which gives this, like, flickering effect that I don't really like. Uh, but that's that, you know, I can try to fix it up with some um, some trims, you know, just place it against the wall or something like that. Uh, but we'll fix that. Now what you can see here is these little wooden overhang pieces, the, the struts, and the lanterns actually go together quite nice. Normally the lanterns have, have these like um, iron, well, it's almost like it's uh, forged iron. Um, a strut for the you know for the lantern to hang on and if you place them inside of one of those wooden struts it actually looks kind of cool like the chain is actually coming out of the wood and if you do it far enough it should sink into the wall and you won't see the iron part at all so this is very nice this is just something I really like now <laughs> after I done the interior it was time for some window work and Silverette actually posted a video about this uh, he actually made a uh, tutorial with some um, scenery tips and tricks. It's down in the description. Uh, just check it out. It's really helpful. It's really cool. Uh, but what you can see there is basically when you hover over a face, um, you can actually hold control and place object the sa uh, objects at the same height. And that really helps out with these trims. Uh, it makes them align a lot better. And it also helps with the windows. You know, else you get these like misaligned windows uh, where one is taller than the other one, or actually it's kind of higher placed than the other one. Um, so that's something I really don't like, you know, when you do that. But with the control button and with the shift button, everything just kind of goes real real smooth. And it just, I don't know, I really like building stuff with it. It's just, ah, the scenery is so amazing in this part, uh, in this, this game, basically. Uh, and it's not even finished because there's going to be a lot of more scenery to come. And I can't wait to see uh, what the user-generated content for this game will be. And as you can see, just, you know, as you can see, I actually uh, kind of fixed up the floor glitching through the wall, the textures, uh, with these little trims. And 
<laughs> you know, I, I also place them uh, with the roofs, of course, because they're roof trims. They should be used for roofs, and I think they look pretty nice. The only thing that I really miss about those ones is the corner pieces. It would be great if there were some corner pieces for this. Now, just looking at the inside right here, you can see that the, actually the beams are kind of glitching through the wall as well, and I tried to fix it up with some trims there. Uh, you know, it's just for some nice, you know, when I take pictures, the uh, screenshots basically I like to get into the peeps perspective and then if you see all these like glitchy textures uh, that you normally don't see from top down view uh, that really kind of freaks up the shot so I try to you know keep that to a minimum and keep it as realistic as possible uh, you know with just normal no glitchy textures I suppose now what you can see here is just adding some minor details to the structure you know some more lanterns and uh, these rings right here they look pretty cool I think they're meant for like putting your horse up there and just you know going into the saloon for a drink something like that or they're actually like for doors and stuff but I don't really think that because the doors actually have their own handles now right here I actually forgot a piece of floor uh, I took it away but never placed it back so here we go and now just you know I kind of wanted to do something else with this little restaurant part uh, the kitchen part it has uh, some kind of modern look to it uh, it has these nice windows and also the steel roof uh, which is curved because the other ones are too tall and the railings they work perfect for this uh, I kind of created a porch I didn't really want to put a roof on it so I decided uh, decided in the end to kind of like try to make a beam that goes across it and I ended up using um, the top trim for the uh, I think the shingle roofs uh, but you know it actually worked out pretty nice now you can see that right here uh, I tried to place them, They're, they kind of rotated away when I lost track of the face that I placed them on first in the first place. And right now they actually worked and it looks it looks pretty cool. Just now, you know, just put some lanterns in there, you know, trying to make some light. Uh, the lighting in this game, it doesn't go that far. As you've probably already seen in other videos, the lighting only affects the, the tiny bit of space that it's actually in. So I try to place as many lights as possible without, you know, like overdoing it dramatically. I am kind of overdoing it, you know, because if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. But I'm not doing it um, to the point where it just gets bloated with lights and it doesn't look normal anymore. This is kind of just like creating a little atmosphere, uh, atmosphere in there. And I really like, you know, I really like the way it actually turned out. Um, so basically, the entrance of this park is going to be more like a plaza, and I actually learned about this in a little video of someone, I can't really remember the name. Um, if one of you does, actually tell me and I'll put it in the uh, description, but basically, you can make a plaza with the widest path and put it on 90 degree snap, and basically, um, you know, it will create this, this rasterized path um, with the little curbs. The circles of the curbs uh, in the middle of every piece and right there but when you place something over it like uh, a footer or a, um, a barrel or something like that you know to create a planter basically um, that little curb it doesn't really become a problem anymore and it's just amazing now right here you can see me actually try to come up with an own fountain you can actually use the statues to put in your fountains and <laughs> I think the best thing about this game is that you can actually place like the, the scenery in each other. They're not, you know, solid objects. They're, you know, in Rollercoaster Tekken 3, I had this problem. Of course, there's a cheat for it, uh, but if you don't really know to cheat, it's pretty hard to build a structure that is, you know, that looks normal. Uh, but basically, normally, what you would have is you have a, a wall and you would place another wall against it, and it would say "can't be placed wall in the way," and that's just. Something that's really annoying, <laughs> and in this game you don't have that problem. Now basically, that was all for this episode. Now in the next episode, I'm gonna build a little, uh, well, kind of like a castle kind of building uh, right next to this one for the restrooms, and also the first ride, and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, stay tuned for that, it's coming in tomorrow. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.